You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. New Center Maine's Lee Goldberg on the line with us this morning. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. A little new scoop for you that I actually scooped first, but I'll share. The world's largest single-masted sailboat is in Portland. That's exciting. I thought so. Go send us a crew. Oh, I'm on vacation. Oh, I'm Good yeah, for you. Giant sailboat. I mean, my phone's blowing up over here. Did you see the sail? I heard Vord is broken. I go, oh, yeah. No, I, I, I saw. I don't know how she got the exclusive of seeing the giant boat in the harbor. Fine. You know what else we're talking about? We're asking people what their engagement story is. I had the ring and I was ready, but I wasn't quite sure when that was going to happen. We had a day where... Everybody was just, like, in the worst mood. <laughs> like, everybody was short with everybody, picking on and nitpicking. It's like, and we were trying to clean the house. Like, it was a weekend, and I'm like, this is, like, uh, there could not have been more negativity in the entire house. And nobody wanted to be around anybody. They go, today's the day. <laughs> <laughs> so in the middle of it all, and I'm like, hey, honey, I need your fish. She's like, what? And I'm like, no, honey, honey, I'm in the middle. I go, just for a minute, just, just for a minute, honey. Come on over here real quick. That was the moment, and that switched the mood. Oh, it's yeah. amazing how that works. Now, did she cry? Yeah, there, was, there were a lot of tears, Aww. yeah. But ironically, went right back to yelling at me within five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It was a very, very short honeymoon phase. <laughs> When's your anniversary? August 8th, this week. Oh, my God. Oh, of course it's August 8th. No, I'm obsessed with 8th. So that's right. Eight. Yeah. Oh, that's And then your birthday's the week after that. Mr. Parsons, I love you. Yeah, you know how I know yes. this? I've told you this before, haven't I, that you have the same birthday as my dad? Uh, yes, yeah. we have talked about that. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, only, that's yeah. the only reason I remember it. Every, every year I send Dad a card that you can thank Lee Goldberg for me remembering this. Yeah. <laughs> what number anniversary is this for you guys? Uh, I know the answer to that, Lori. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Carry the one, divide by seven. 14 years. Whoa, well, happy anniversary, yeah. Lee. That's Woo-hoo. fantastic. Yeah, this Thursday. I can't wait to see what you got me. <laughs> I'm sure that that's how it works. It was, You're not yeah. very dust. Keep looking. <laughs> You're uh, not very dust. Someone argue I've been with you guys a lot longer than I've been with you. It is so, then. so true. And so happily. <laughs> uh, don't ever divorce it's us. same relationship. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chat in two weeks. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, if you want, we can call you from home and just say hi. But, I mean, we'll be on vacation. No, no now I know what you got me for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> A week off from talking to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lee. That is better than a year since you to the Jelly of the Month. We'll talk to you in two weeks, and we'll get all the scoop from you. Love you, bye. Love you. This is the HOM Morning Show. On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Five calls says it all on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Do you set your clocks wrong on purpose? No. I do. I set all my clocks ahead five minutes. Five calls says it all. I think most people set their clocks ahead. So why why do you do it? To, though? to, to fool yourself, to panic yourself, but, to to give yourself that ah, oh, I've got five extra minutes. It's five minutes on the stove in the microwave. It's forty five minutes in the bedroom. Don't ask. I'm so confused. I always I, I just panic. I wake up in a panic, and that's how it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing: you know that you did this, but I always forget. I always look, and I always think, oh. Right. I have five extra minutes. Five calls says I'm telling you, Parsons. Warps my mind. I am in the majority on this one. 800-228-1949. Be prepared to be surprised. (laughs) Five calls. Do you set your clocks ahead? Yes, and I'm shocked that other people do that. So I'm so glad I am not alone. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We should start a club. I'll be five minutes early. (laughs) The 505 Club. (laughs) When it's really five (laughs) o'clock. And that, and that is the name of the club. The 505, 505 club, club, when it should really be yep. 5 o'clock. You're going to be in the majority. You're going to be so happy. You're weird, but you're in the majority. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. Five calls. Do you set your clock ahead? 
I do not. Uh, oh, see? okay. All right. So well, I was try it. The actual time. My, my, my mother does, but I don't. Okay, so, uh uh-huh. no, My whole schedule. You got weirdness in the family. Right. It just didn't reach you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Five Calls says it all. Do you set your clocks ahead? 800-228-1949. We're tied currently. Hi, H-O-M. Do you set your clock ahead? I do not, but my husband does, and it drives me nuts. All right. That's a well, do not. You, you called, so we got to take your not. You, can you can you give the eight hundred number to your husband? Wait, is your husband right there? He is. Oh, I'm counting it. All oh, right, for God's sake! I just have to hear him say, "I set my clocks ahead," and I'm going to count it. I set my clocks ahead that, an hour because I'm prior military. An hour? Okay, that's odd, but okay, awesome. I'll take it. Thank you. We're tied. This is it. So what is it? This what is are we two at? Two and two. This is no true. Five okay. calls says it all. We got two in one car. <laughs> Five calls. Do you set your clocks ahead? I do not. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I hear a... Don't laugh. (laughs) And and, and he is not. He's not here either. Okay, so your husband does? Oh, he does. He sets the whole house ahead. Yeah. I do not. Okay. And well, I, and you called. Okay. I, I get. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. Okay. You won. And clearly, she does not like that he does that. <laughs> I know. But, but she, you know, she's going home and saying, Five calls said it all, honey. Set him right. <laughs> Five calls did say it all. People have the right time in their home. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. And now it's time for your daily distraction. Being brought to you by the Bill Dodge Auto Group, home of the money-saving Bill Dodge Rewards Program. When you buy from Bill Dodge, they reward you with perks, points, and benefits because giving discounts and money back to customers. That's the Bill Dodge difference. Online at BillDodgeAutoGroup.com. Well, one of the most thrilling things in the entire Olympics happened last night. Uh, It was the, let's see here, USA's Cole Hawker was on the final turn of the 1500 meter. It's a long one. And he got blocked out of the inside lane by another runner. It forced him into third place, so he had to really pull it all out in the stretch. Very exciting. Why so did the, the ref throw you for the throw yellow flag? <laughs> so, yeah. The guy who blocked Hawker was the 2020 gold winner from Norway. He took fourth place, and he was a he was a hawk blocker. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Gabby Thomas from Massachusetts won gold in the 200 meter race for women, and that's the first time in 12 years that gold has been taken by an American USA US. Anyway. We're doing very well at the Olympics. Shocker. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know, uh, Annie Ann's pretzels. You see them at like yeah. airports yep. or any kind of road stop in Massachusetts. Yep, yep. Well, they're launching their very own signature fragrance. It's called Need with a, with a K as reference to dough. Need dough. They will start selling them next week on their website for 25 to $45. And yes, it smells like fresh baked pretzels slathered in butter. Why, why would you just want the smell? Just go damp, buy the damn pretzel. <laughs> and, <laughs> you get both. And smear it on you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the pretzel's not 25 bucks. So Jed Zier's just found out uh, something about cheese graters. You know, do you have a cheese grater? You've I seen think, the metal kind of four, a four size. I remember I live in a house that uh, people don't, two people don't like cheese. Okay, so you've seen a cheese grater. Yes, that's what, yeah, the, the metal that, ones yes. with the handle, that, and they've yeah. got different kinds. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. One of the sides of a cheese grater is just one notch or two. It's little metal things. That's for slicing slices of cheese. Right. Gen Zers had no idea. They just found this out, and then are, like their mind is blown, and they're slicing cheese left and right. No. Did you know this? And so much for craft singles. <laughs> yeah, so much for craft singles. Snoop Dogg reportedly making half a million dollars a day as an Olympic correspondent for NBC. And when you add in <laughs> bonuses, he'll pocket fifteen million by the end of the games. Wow. 
Journey has canceled the UK and Ireland leg of their tour due to circumstances beyond the band's control. It could do something with the ongoing legal issue between Neil Sean and Jonathan Kane. Didn't you just go see Journey? Yep, I did. How was it? It was amazing. You'll be able to read all about it in a little bit up on... Uh, oh, you're not going to tease that. us? You're not even... Just... No, it was good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> all right. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Your final distraction today. Kamala Harris, of course, as we know, picked a Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz as a running mate. And the Internet has already decided who should play him on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yes, I saw this. It will be it's Steve perfect. Martin. Come on, Steve. You know you want it. <laughs> and who is it uh, that is playing Kamala? She's played it before. I don't know. She's a, uh, oh, I, I can't move on without knowing this. Uh, uh, SNL. She's played it before. SNL. Kamala Harris. Ah, my Rudolph. There you Thank go. you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. The A Best Window Ticket Window is now open. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a pair of tickets to go see Dan and Shay at the Maine Savings Amphitheater in Bangor Sunday, this Sunday. Want to go? It's supposed to be an amazing concert. All you got to do is call 800-228-1949. We need two players for radio tennis. We'll give you a topic. You go back and forth naming things in that topic until one of you repeats or is stumped. 800-228-1949. 800-228-1949. Who wants to go see Dan and Shay Sunday in Bangor? Hi, HOM. Who is this? Whoop, ba-dip, ba-dip. Hang on a second. Are you there? Alisa. Oh, there we go. Alisa. Hi, Alisa. Hang on. Hi, HOM. Who is this? This is Chrissy. All right, Chrissy. Chrissy and Alisa. Good morning, guys. I get your names right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good for me. <laughs> Bad in a thousand. <laughs> wow. I want a cookie. All right. So, uh, Lisa and Chrissy, here's how here's how it works. Uh, for so Dan and Shay going to be up in Bangor on Sunday, and we're going to give you a topic, and you just have to name things in that topic. Go back and forth and back and forth until one of you just can't come up with something, or you repeat what's already been said. Are you ladies re- ready? I think so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, Laura, it's Monday. It's 7 o'clock. What the hell? All right. <laughs> Your topic today is, since Dan and Shay are kind of a famous couple, name famous couples. Alisa, you called in first, so you start. What famous couple would you like to say? Uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. All right. Chrissy. Uh, Mila and Ashton. David and Victoria Beckham. Chrissy? Um, you me. Can... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. You know what? It feels like it's kind of Monday out there, so I'll tell you what. You both win. We'll get you tickets. Both of you, Elisa and Chris. Because we feel a little sorry. Yeah, we feel bad. That was maybe that was too hard. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you could have gone Sunny and Cher, no Mork and Mindy. You know, but you you both sound a Mork little too. Mork and Mindy. I'm I'm telling you, you t- that's Donnie Not until season six. Donnie Marie. I mean, <laughs> all right. Hey, congratulations, both Elisa and Chris. You're both gonna go not together. We'll get you both separate tickets. <laughs> You're both gonna go see Dan and Shay in Bangor this Sunday. You guys, hang on. <laughs> The A-Best window ticket window is closed. Till next time. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. Chris Cass from Funtown Splashtown USA in the studio with us this morning, which only means one thing. A, he... 
you brought tickets, right? I did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lori wouldn't let you in here without them. Yes. I know, I know. <laughs> you know what's great, though, is that I've been thinking about you, Chris, because Funtown must be having a spectacular season. It's been a great season. The weather's cooperated. People are happy. We had our first superhero princess party. Uh, then we're going to be doing another one. Oh, so you really are? Good. Oh, yes. okay. So what is, exactly is a superhero princess party? So we have appearances by some superheroes and some... Princesses. Princesses. <laughs> it's coming up this coming Monday. I don't want to ruin the surprise. We've got princess who... Enjoys the cold weather? Well, yes. <laughs> then we've got a... has been on a raft in the ocean and she oh. helps some guy I feel like I'm Maui, playing a game show. Okay. You know, <laughs> be in Splash Town. <laughs> we've got another superhero. I'm kind of captain in a place called the United States, but he may or may not be at Fun Town. Captain USA. That's August 12th. This Saturday fireworks. Two more after that. We got one on the seventeenth and the thirty first, and they're at nine thirty. So that's a Saturday. Every Monday, Senior Day. Okay. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> well, I'm looking at me too. We're, it's kind of mirror image there, Jeff. You know, so seniors get in free and the people, free. Yes, as long as they bring a human being with. 2025 season passes are on sale now, nice. and people say, well, "Why should I get one now?" Because if you buy a 2025 season pass, you get in. 2024 for the rest of the season for free. Oh, that's brilliant. So it's like... So it's a deal. Yeah, it's one and a half for one-ish. I don't know. I do math. I don't do math, so I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay. But it's really good. On the 15th, it's Autism Awareness Day. We drop the volume level around the park. Oh, you make it sensory sensitive. Oh, that's awesome. It's not... It's not overwhelming because it can be the ride. Of course. So it's, but you know, just for people that have autism conditions, it, it just makes it easier. Oh, that's easier. Nice. super nice of you. Yeah. We have our final all grown up night on the 24th. I was going to ask yeah, that. Yeah. They, <laughs> these are so popular. Yeah. And they sell out. And the past two have sold out. If you're all grown up night curious, <laughs> Sounds like a personal ad, doesn't it? That's 824th and really get tickets online. Right now. On Town yeah. on USA. Right now. Com. Yeah. And on Labor Day weekend, this is really something special. It's first responder appreciation weekend. All law enforcement, fire department members and everybody in the EMS, they get in free. People that they're with, their immediate families get in for $10 off. And the only thing you need to do is show your identification as a first responder. So what you're trying to say to me, Chris Cass, from Funtown Splashtown USA, is nothing's going on. No. <laughs> yeah. just, just, know, just your basic. Sleepwalking through the rest of the season. You know? Chris, thank you so much thank for bringing you. us passes. We'll give those away in about an hour. Mm-hmm. So hang with us. Have yourself a great rest of the season. Thank you, you guys, too. And thank you for bringing me on. And thank you always for being always. here. Always. I love talking to you. FuntownSplashtownUSA.com. Hey. America's family has come to play. <laughs> <laughs> you too. I knew it. <laughs> This is the HOM Morning Show. On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. And it's time for Don't Judge. (laughs) On the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. (laughs) All right. (laughs) You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't judge, by the way, being brought to us uh, by our great friends at A-Best Window, manufactured in Maine by Maine Craftsmen to handle Maine's unique weather. Hey, Jim. Hey, Lindsay. So it's all about the last thing you Googled. This is so freaking cute. <laughs> Matt out of Phillips says, I Googled the shape of a goat's pupil. Lori, I mean, I bet you didn't know. I didn't. Now I think goats may be aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Googled, who the heck is Tim Waltz? <laughs> that, that makes sense. The new VP pick from uh, Kamala. All right, so what is it that you Googled? You're looking right now. I'm looking right at it. It is uh, this morning <laughs> around 6.53. I Googled the uh, TV show Webster. Why did you do that? I'll tell you later. <laughs> You're such I a, have plans. How do I find what I Googled last? Uh, you go to your search history. Oh, I don't even know where that is. Whatever. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Not about me today, is it? <laughs> what? what? For a change. <laughs> that really upsets me. All right. Uh, last thing you Googled, that's No Judge Day. Let us know on Facebook on the HOM app or call 800-228-1949. Nabil, Namani, tuna noodle casserole. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
I hope it was good. I love that. Thanks what? for hanging with us, uh, Nabil. <laughs> Poor Laura had to Google how to get a cat 50 feet out of a tree. <laughs> oh, that's a tall tree. I don't know if the fire department still does that kind of stuff. <laughs> I think they do, maybe. It's, it's like, it seems like an old-fashioned thing. You can't shake a 50-foot tree, that's for sure. All right, what is it for you? 800-228-1949. Don't judge. What's the last thing that you Googled? Storyland, actually. Oh, did you go? Um, no, we are going next Friday. Oh. Have you heard us where fantasy lives? <laughs> <laughs> what did what, so. what did you need to find out by Googling it? Where it is? Um, so, uh, nope. So my grandson um, was diagnosed with autism when he was two. Um, he stayed at a hotel a year ago with my daughter and her family. He loved it. So he wants to stay at a hotel, and then he wants to go to Storyland. Oh, that's wicked sweet. Well, I hope you guys have a great time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. All right. Bye. Bye. Don't judge. What's the last thing you Googled? Uh, I Googled a mini bread maker. Ooh, for mini loaves of bread? <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's just one person. Oh. So I don't want a whole loaf. And but, you have to buy a whole loaf in the store, and then it goes to waste. Okay, so tell me. You don't eat enough sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> did you, I, did, I can't make sandwiches because I never have bread. Did you Did you find a mini loaf maker? I did. It makes a small loaf of bread. Oh, my God. So, so here's my question. Uh, what, do you, what do you normally put on your bread? Uh... What do you mean? Like, you, like, butter? So, oh, so you're just buttered bread. Like you're not making sandwiches. You're not making like toast. You're not. I mean, sometimes I make a grilled cheese, but okay. most of the time they're being used for like French toast. Right. And... So, but a mini, in this case, a mini grilled cheese. No, wait. Am I? Well, no. It's it's a it's a normal size grilled cheese. Oh. It's just, it makes a smaller so loaf. loaf oh, so it like makes a half a, a loaf half of a bread. Lo- I gotcha. That. When you say mini, I thought it's like yeah. small bread. Yeah, it's like little teeny <laughs> wee little sandwich. You have to you have to make eight <laughs> right. grilled cheese sandwiches to satisfy your hunger. But still, <laughs> that's well, awesome, Christina. There's a thing that you can put in to make little ciabatta rolls, though. Oh, okay. Listen, so you could make smaller bread. I think you you're need, about to sell her on a I, mini. I think no. Maker. You're about to sell me on you making me some bread. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks for calling. Happy hump day. All right, <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. What is it that, what's the last thing you Googled? Let us know on Facebook on the HOM app or call us up 800 228 1949. Don't judge. Like, Who wants a mini piece of bread? <laughs> Jeff. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 949 HOM. <laughs> You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Five Calls Says It All on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Five Calls Says It All is, have you ever dropped food on the floor, picked it up, and eaten it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not Absolutely. Letting, not letting good food go to waste. Absolutely. Um, I do know some that will not, but I am not one of them. Yeah. Do you, do you do you go by the five second rule? Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, I'm, I'm about there too. You know. It's like however long. Oh, I, I met something from yesterday. I grab that. <laughs> yesterday it might be a little hard, but it depends on my hunger level. All right, five calls says it all. Do you drop food and then pick it up and eat it? Eight hundred. Eight hundred two two eight one nine four nine. Five calls. Have you dropped food on the floor but eaten it anyway? <laughs> Absolutely. That's how we gain our. What is it? Our immunities. <laughs> immunities? <laughs> oh, I, or, I, or cat hair. Our family has not been sick in years. <laughs> really? That's fantastic. Do you just eat on the kitchen cool floor? <laughs> here's, <laughs> here's dinner, guys. Come get it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Five calls. Do you eat food that you've dropped on the floor? <laughs> just saying that. Absolutely not. Oh. 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 Okay. And what? That's Wait. gross. Okay. That answers my next question. <laughs> you mean like a chip? Uh, yeah. A chip falls on the floor. You're not going to pick up the potato chip and eat it? No. 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 <laughs> okay. Right. Too sophisticated for that. Uh, you, you definitely sound it. Okay. D- thank you for calling. Uh, we're going to call you Mr. Nice sophistication. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm, I'm Miss Eat Anything, and that's Mr. Sophistication. We are tied one each for five calls, says it all. The question and proposition is, 
Have you ever <laughs> dropped food on the floor, picked it up, and eaten it? <laughs> Call it five second rule. Sarah on Facebook said it's a three second rule. I said tough house. Eight uh, <laughs> hundred. It's a race to grab it before the time runs out. Eight hundred two two eight one nine four nine. Have you ever dropped food on the floor, picked it up, and eaten it? AKA five second rule. We have one yes and one no. And we there we go. Hi, H O M five calls. Have you dropped off food on the floor and picked it up and eaten it? <laughs> I absolutely have. I will. However, I will say that it depends. Like if it's a piece of lunch meat and it drops on the floor, no, I'm probably not going to eat it. But if it's a yeah, I'm really going to eat it. Okay, here's a, here's a hint. Uh, uh, being a person who has dropped a piece of lunch meat on the floor, just rinse it. Yep. There you go. <laughs> that deli meat is not cheap. So. Yeah, deli meat doesn't grow on trees. So. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'd love to plant a deli meat tree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this right. could be it. This could be it. Hi, <laughs> five calls. Have you ever dropped food on the floor and eaten it anyway? Well, it definitely depends on the floor. If I'm in a gas station floor, definitely not. If it's, if, if it's in my floor at my home, absolutely. All right, that's what I'm going to go You know with. what? You're such a conflicted person. I will say there is, yes, if I dropped... Like a, a a Hershey bar at a gas station bathroom. I'm not picking it up and eating it. <laughs> but I would at my house. Definitely depends on the floor. <laughs> yeah. why, why would you be eating a Hershey bar in the bathroom anyway? It, of a gas station. Don't forget, right. of yeah. a gas station. You never know with me, Parsons. Thank you very much. A clean, Almost a clean sweep of, yeah, we all live by that five-second rule. If it's our floor. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. The A-Best window ticket window is now open. And now it's time for everyone's favorite game, Extreme Trivia. With your hosts, Lori and Jeff. Thank you, Bob. We've got an extreme trivia question for you, and the winner picks up a four-pack of tickets to Funtown Splashtown. That's right. It's wrapping up here, gang. So end the summer the best way possible by heading to Funtown Splashtown. 800-228-1949. You'll need that number to answer this extreme trivia question. Men said this is their least favorite outdoor chore. What is it? What are, men, what, what are men's least favorite outdoor chore? 800-228-1949. Hi, HOM. What did men say was their least favorite outdoor chore? Um, what do you think? In some um, Mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn is incorrect. It's, one it's of their, mine, though. It's one of their favorite things, except for Jeff. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for calling. Thank you. Thanks for trying. <laughs> Hi, H-O-M. What did men say is their least favorite outdoor chore? Oh, shit. Uh, shoot. Uh, okay. Okay. Chore. Okay. You swore. Don't. No swearing. No swearing. Turn down your radio. Turn down your radio. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Ah, breathe. No swearing. No swearing because we're not on delay anymore. So what do you think men's least favorite outdoor chore is? Um, Automotive. Issues. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Automotive issues. Or, car or, repairs? Car repairs? Yes, that. <laughs> Unfor- that is incorrect. Gonna give you a double buzz. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for trying. Thank you. Hi, HOM. What do men say is their least favorite outdoor chore? Um, cleaning the garage. Oh, wish I had one to clean. <laughs> you are, you're, you're getting closer, but that's not it. Thank you. Thank you. It, I will say not this it. is a hit. It is cleaning something. Hi, HOM. What did men say is their least favorite outdoor chore? Cleaning the windows of the house? No. God, that's the worst job, isn't it? No, it's not. No, but thank you. Guys don't care. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I know what it is now. Um, okay, call back, call back. 800-228-1949. HOM, what did men say is their least favorite outdoor chore? 
Cleaning the gutters. There it cleaning is. Cleaning the gutters. Yes. <laughs> Men hate cleaning the gutters. You are correct. You've got a four-pack of tickets to Fun Town Splashdown USA. Yes, they hate cleaning the gutters. So here's the simple solution. Don't don't have gutters. I don't have gutters. <laughs> hey, congratulations. What's your name? Kate. Kate? Yes. Hi, Kate. Congratulations. You got yourself a four-pack of tickets to go to Fun Town Splashdown. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Hang you on. hang on. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show. <laughs> on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today, 94.9 HOM. is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. Oh, I did a very stupid thing to start off my day. What'd you do? Driving here. Uh, I do have a garage, so my car was in the garage, and I'm backing out the car from the garage, and I hear... (laughs) (laughs) I stop immediately thinking, what the hell did I hit? Uh Uh-huh. And then I realized um, the garage door opener was in my pocket and I had closed it a little bit, but it couldn't see, like it wasn't down halfway. It wasn't halfway. down all the way, right. it was down enough. Just enough to hit. To hit the roof. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, idiot. So I get in my car and I'm driving, I'm driving here. And then I hear, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> And I see behind me something. Something's rolling off your car. Fall off my car. <laughs> so I back the car up. To see if it's anything to important. To retrieve this. Oh, this is the cover for your um, antenna. antenna. That's yeah. right, because guess what I can't pick up anymore? Radio. Radio. <laughs> Which is kind of important when you're on the In radio. Radio. And, yeah. Yes, yep. this. Oh, it looks like it hit pretty good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hit it right. You see right there? Yep, I do. See a little. It should pop right back on, though, shouldn't it? I have no idea. Can you see it? I don't know. That, how, how does, oh, yeah. how is that the radio antenna? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know either. So maybe but I I'm lost just, the radio antenna like, part. It looks like it has stuff to bolt it down. Yeah, it, sure does. That didn't come with no, it. No, it didn't. <laughs> so just I think rip. we know. I think we know where they are or are not. Hey, Bill Dodd. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on the best mix of the eighties, nineties, and today, ninety four nine HOM. <laughs> You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. So if you head on over to the uh, 94.9 HOM app or 94.9 HOM.com, is my review of my the show that I went to. I saw um, Steve Miller Band, Journey, my favorite band of all time, and Def Leppard all performing at Fenway, which is, I've never seen a concert at Fenway. Oh, there you go. And it was probably... Where, where'd you sit? I sat right behind, behind home plate, which, you know, if it was a baseball game, would be great seats. But a little far. But with but with <laughs> the, the stage all the way out in left field, right. it's kind of like no. But I mean, they have a big screen, so and yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. were there and everything. Um, but amazing show. But Def Leppard stole the whole thing, which you know. I'm surprised you're a journey. I know freak. With, with a journey fan. But you and you again. You can read about this on on our website. I it, my whole review and the set list and everything. In case you missed it, but there was one. Th- I had a hard time hearing. The music, because it was the loudest concert I've ever been to. I my, you just you just contradicted yourself. I had a hard time listening to the music because right, it was the loudest. Because I couldn't, I could not hear clearly what song they were playing or what uh, what they what they what were saying on the about? microphone. It sounded all distorted. Oh, really? And like oh, like it, like it was over modulated. Oh, which which we know here on the radio yes, business. We, we know that's we've bad. been on the air many times over modulated, <laughs> and it sounds awful. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, but the show was great from what I could discern of it. And, but it was kind of like all the bands, Steve Miller, 80 years old. <gasps> no. Yes. Fantastic. At 80 years old. Uh, Journey, uh, Neil Schoen, who I think is the, the, he's the original, uh, founder. He's 73. And then you've got, uh, the art, the lead singer for Def Leppard, also 73. Yeah. 
Yeah, well. Geriatrics like you would not believe. Well, that's but great, it was yeah. an amazing show. <laughs> <laughs> I have a suggestion for you because being a person who has hearing issues, next time you're in something where it's really super overmodulated in, in like a concert, yep. put your fingers over your ears and you'll hear just fine. Nah. I, now I, you tell me. Well, you didn't call. <laughs> <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. Okay, Lori, what do we learn today on the big show? Yeah, if you drop something on the floor, you are going to pick it up and eat it. That's what we learned. Yeah. We learned that. We learned that the last... Five seconds, five minutes, five days. Doesn't what? matter. It doesn't, yeah. Um, my favorite, though, was the... Uh, in During Don't Judge was the last thing you Googled. Woman called up and said, I Googled how old are Lori and Jeff from the 94.9 <laughs> HOM Morning Show. And, and she didn't find it. Yeah. So we just... We Hopefully just it stays that ...ratted way. ourselves out. You, no, you ratted me out. I didn't rate myself out. You don't want anybody to know you're 53 years old? Too late now. <laughs> I'm sorry that I told you just everybody. volunteered that one. I didn't mean to tell everybody you're 53 years old. <laughs> I super apologize. Want to say one more time? 53 yep. is Jeff's age. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM.